I want to do a uh, battery endurance test here with the new Mate 10 Pro on the left. It's coming with a massive battery, 4000 mAh. Uh, but does that make a big difference in the real world? You know, historically I've found some Huawei devices have very poor software optimization when it comes to the battery. So it doesn't, so it hasn't always made a massive difference. But I wanted to test it out here. I have charged all of these handsets up to 100%. Uh, this is the Note 8 Exynos. This is the Xiaomi Mix 2, uh, which also comes with a big battery. Not as big is the first one but still quite a hefty amount of uh, MAH also one plus 5T maybe call it 3T then that comes also with quite a decent size battery uh, in terms of how uh, hot they get when they're charging you can see the Mate 10 Pro is actually get the hottest here with the Kirin 970 uh, which is a little bit annoying but nevertheless what we want to see uh, is the battery endurance so we're going to start up per asphalt 8 and run it for two hours here standard testing procedure uh, so let's just get rid of the ads and this one so let's disconnect them from the charger there we go and let's get them in a nice position here you can see so they all come with uh, nice displays I think they're all AMOLED except for the Xiaomi you can't really notice the difference really very engaging I would say in all of them uh, but yeah so the time now is nearly half past six so we're going to finish about half past eight uh, which one is going to win for the battery, I've got my money on the uh, OnePlus 5T. I think the software optimization is going to win. We will see you know, if that is the case here. So, two hours, let's see how it goes. Hey guys, so we are two hours later and uh, we have uh, been restarting the game here. I think we're going to employ a robot to do this because my finger really does hurt after doing these tests. Uh, but so I think okay, we can now end the game. Uh, which one has won in terms of battery? I've got my money on the OnePlus, uh, which is this one. Hopefully, Mate 10 Pro has done well as well. So let's go. Mouse of it here. So let's see what we do have. So let's open the battery thing, CPU temp. Uh, you can see what the uh, Mate 10 Pro seems to be running the hottest here, followed by the Note 8, uh, the OnePlus 5T running the coolest, which is a nice thing to see. Uh, but in terms of the battery, we do have a winner here on the left, and it is the Mate 10 Pro. 70% uh, battery, or 69 now, uh, versus uh, 65 with the OnePlus 5T, so I wasn't too far off. Uh, you can see the 5T does very well with a smaller battery here. Uh, and surprisingly enough, you can see the Mi Mix 2 is on the worst, 53%. It definitely shouldn't have reduced the size of the battery there. Uh, big fail on that particular part. But Note 8 hasn't done that bad, 60%. Uh, so, you know, pretty decent. Could have done better if you ask me. Uh, I do miss the days when we had a removable battery with the Note series. But hey-ho. Uh, so very good performance here from the new Mate 10 Pro. You know, I was expecting, as I said, the software to offset some of the big battery, but it looks like they finally figured it out here, uh, which is really nice. Uh, so yeah, you know, I hope you found this helpful if you're looking for this particular kind of video. I uh, will be doing some of the videos, checking out the gaming, etc., with the, the handset. Uh, so do stay tuned for that. Hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.